Today we are going to paint three little house plants and I'm going to sketch them first with a pencil so feel free to sketch along with me. If you want to do different house plants you can totally do that but today I'm going to show you a couple of my favorites and let's get started. So I'm going to sketch, I'm going to actually start with the middle one here and I'm just going to make a little pot so I'm drawing a line and kind of this like oval shape on the bottom. We don't have to get super fancy here. I do want to make a couple lines in it to make it a little bit interesting. And then for this plant, and when you do this, make sure you kind of make it 3D. So you're making an oval up here too. So this is where the dirt is. For this plant, I want to do one of those Seguro, I think that's how you say it, cactuses. So real simple, just making these long shapes. And then this will be the dirt here. Maybe we'll make a little arm. This might not be a realistic size, but that's okay. <laughs> then the next plant I wanna do is a snake plant. I'm gonna make the pot a little different, maybe kind of square. And again, it has that oval on top because something's going inside of it. And the snake plant kind of wiggles a little bit and is that kind of shape. And then the snake plant actually has that bright green on the outside and the dark green on the inside. So I'm gonna make that line. And I just found out that snake plants are super poisonous to dogs. So I had to put mine up on a really high shelf because Benye is short and she can't get to it. If you don't know, Benye is our dog. But I've had to get rid of a lot of my house plants and it made me really sad because they are not dog friendly. Okay, so that's our little snake plant. And maybe what we'll do here is do a little pattern. So how about some triangles? There you go. And our last plant, I'm gonna do this kind of square shape again so it looks <clears throat> like even. And again, I have this oval, makes it look 3D a little bit. And for this one, let's do the cactus, or actually, let's do one of those, um, gosh, what are those plyos, I think? I'm totally saying it wrong. Those really viney plants that everybody has. That's what we're gonna do. You guys, it's embarrassing, I don't know what this is called. <laughs> Correct me in the comments. I sound like an idiot. Okay, so lots of leaves. This plant is also poisonous to dogs, which is such a bummer because I have like five of these in my house. This tutorial is also telling you what plants are good for your animals and what are not. Okay, and for this one, let's do some lines going down. Do, do, do. Okay, so these are all ready to paint. Now that I've drawn these, what I like to do is grab my gummy eraser and just kind of press down and up so I get some of the pencil off of here. Otherwise, you might be able to see the pencil through the watercolor. I'm okay with this because these leaves are gonna be darker, so the watercolor paint will definitely cover that up. Okay, so for this, I'm actually gonna go between a size two brush and a size four brush. You could use six, but it's it might get a little difficult when it gets sm um, in the smaller sections. These are actually the pigeon letters. She's an artist and she makes her brushes and I absolutely love them. So. A little plug for her. She does not pay me to say that, but I just discovered her brushes and I love them. Let's start on this one. And we're gonna start off by painting the pot first. 
And I think I'm gonna make this pot, since these are really, really green, I'm gonna do it kind of an orangey color. So this is already on my palette, but I know it's a mixture of, let me grab my size four, a mixture of opera rose, and uh, lemon yellow, and yellow ochre. And I just add a little bit of green to mellow it out a little bit. And then I'm just gonna come in here and I want this thin line to stay white. So I'm just gonna outline it basically. And if you watch my other video about this method, what I'm gonna do is outline it and then rinse off my brush and come back in with water and let it kind of just bleed. So every little area that I can see, don't worry about painting over this line right here where the twig is going to be it's going to be pretty dark so it'll be able to paint over this color but you don't want to paint the leaf so take care not to go over the leaf and then i'm going to rinse off my brush just bring water in here and let it bleed i'm going to keep doing this leaving the white vertical lines without paint on them and then make sure you're not covering up your, your leaves. Okay, so we have this pot done. I'm gonna come in and just make a line right at the bottom because a line would be there. You wouldn't just have it going fully into oblivion. <laughs> and because we really want this to dry before we start painting our leaves, we let's move on to our second um, pot. This one I want to make kind of in the similar, you know what, I think I want to do a teal for this. So mix up a teal. You might already have an aqua color paint. Teal is going to be <clears throat> blue-green. And if you haven't watched my other video, I like to keep my cool colors rinsed off in one water and my warm colors in another water. Just keeps everything clean and from getting really muddy. All right, same thing for this one. Actually, let's do the line, the teal color, and we'll leave the rest of the pot white. So for this, I'm just painting a line I am going to outline it. Maybe go like this back here. Okay, well, that was easy. And lastly, I wanna return to, you know what? This looks fake to me, or I just don't like it. So I'm gonna grab water on my brush and just touch that line because I want it to kind of bleed down a little bit. I just want it to look a little more interesting. It looks too, too perfect. So I'm just touching this paint and allowing it to bleed a little bit, just touching it with water and the tip of my brush. Moving on to our last one, I'm gonna come back to this color. So we're, you know, kind of consistent here. And we're going to do line here we're going to outline again then i'm going to rinse off my brush and bring that water in same thing down here and we need to let this dry before we go in to tackle those triangles otherwise it's just all going to bleed together And just do a quick outline here and back here. All right, while we wait for that to dry, we can move on over to this guy and the our pot is dry so we can start painting the leaves. This plant is really green. I'm gonna grab some sap green, 
but we do want to have some variation in the leaves otherwise we're just going to have a really boring painting that's a huge rule with watercolor painting you want some variation if you do everything just flat one color it's going to be boring and you're going to wonder why your painting doesn't look good we need to have variation in color so we're going to use both this darker green and this lighter green and all I'm going to do is that same method that I was doing where I'm outlining the leaf. Oh, here's a note for you guys. I just put lotion on my hand and I can see that the water isn't sticking as well because I touched the paper with my hand that had lotion on it. If you get any type of oil on your paper, it's going to resist the water in the paint. Just an FYI. So I'm coming in here with a clean brush with a little bit of water. And just kind of touching those edges so it bleeds in. I'm just going to do this with all these leaves, making that outline. Sometimes I do two leaves at once. That's okay as long as you're making sure that the paint's staying wet. Rinse off your brush, tap some of that extra water off, and then paint around the edges so it bleeds in. And we're going to alternate. We're going to pick up that more yellow kind of green. Maybe we put that one here. We want to give it some interest. Okay, I'm going to speed this up while I paint the rest of the leaves and you can go ahead and paint your leaves. All right, we have these leaves done. We're gonna come in and put more details, but it's wet right now, so we need to wait for it to dry until we do that. So let's move on to this cactus, and I'm gonna mix up a green that has a little more yellow in it. And I'm just gonna go in and paint it. We're gonna be adding some details with some darker shades. So I'm not concerned if this is just a flat look right now. I'm just painting, like I'm filling it in like a coloring book. And we're gonna have to let this guy sit while we, or we're gonna have to let it sit and dry until we can come back and put in those details. Okay, and if you want, you can punch in a little darkness around the bottom because that's what would happen naturally. Moving on to our snake plant. For our snake plant, I wanna do these outside lines first and it has that really bright green. It's almost like a yellow on the outside. So we're gonna grab that color and we're just going to, you can actually grab your size two for this if you want. I'm still using a size four, but I'm just outlining it, okay? And traditionally this plant, it also has these little lines in the middle and we'll do that as well. This one's going to take a lot more kind of detail work. So you're, I recommend working with a smaller brush. You might want to go to a size two, especially if you're new, or even a size one brush. Okay, so we have those. And then I'm going to go in and make these kind of squigglies. So this is going to take a lot of work for us to get in here with the dark green but we can totally do it. Another little cheat for you would be to use masking fluid, but that's also it more advanced because it's harder to, um, you still have to paint around things. Okay, so we have those in and I'm not, because this paint isn't super, super wet, I don't mind putting a little bit of brown in for the dirt right now because that paint, we were using the tip of the brush, so it wasn't crazy, crazy soaked. So I'm just gonna go in here with brown and rinse off my brush and then put in some water, kind of punch it in so it bleeds a little bit and it looks like dirt. And then we can do those triangles. So for the triangles, I wanna do a darker shade of that shade that we had here. 
and I'm pretty sure I can just grab from the corner of this because I've had a shade like that. And I'm gonna add a little blue to make it a little more mauve -y color. Okay, and we're just gonna do that method where we outline it and then come back in with the wet paint. I mean, the water. <laughs> All right. Cool. All right, come back over here and we need some dirt in this pot. So I'm going to kind of just punch it in with the tip of my brush. And I'm not looking for something really perfect looking, just want it to show that there's dirt there. And then I am going to do it right here. Even though this is wet, it might bleed a little bit, but I'm okay with it bleeding a little bit because I think it might look a little pretty cool. So giving it some water. Cool. Now for details here, I'm going to grab a darker green because we need to make the stems almost a brown green. And I'm just taking the very tip, this is my size four, but you could use a size two, tip of my brush and I'm drawing those stems or vines, whatever you wanna call it. And something else that we can do is to add a little vein in the leaf. So we can go back to that color, add a little more green, and just lightly, not gonna put them on every single one, but some of them, just a thin line that acts like a vein. You know, a vein that you see in a leaf. Doop. Okay, so that one is done. And this guy is not quite dry, but this one is. So we're gonna come back in here and put the dark for the green here. So it is a dark green color. And this is, I'm actually gonna switch to my size two brush because this is gonna take a little more dexterity. And I'm just coming in here and I'm painting. I have, don't have too much water on your brush, but I'm just painting in these little spaces and I'm taking care not to go over that light green. Take your time here, it's okay, you don't have to rush. Watercolor should be relaxing, kind of like coloring in something, like coloring in a coloring page. So I'm gonna speed this up because you guys know what you're supposed to do. Okay, my little snake plant is done and lastly, this is still a little wet, but we're gonna come back over here to this cactus and we're gonna grab that dark green color and I'm gonna make it a little bit darker by adding this Payne's gray into it. And we're just going to, I have my size two brush, make little lines coming down. And don't worry if your hand shakes. I had a little too much coffee today, but actually it gives it some cool texture. You don't want a perfectly straight line. And then just curve this one a little bit. And there you have it. Three little house plants. You can put this on your wall. You can make it into a card and give it to a friend. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for following along and let me know what your favorite house plants are in the comments.